Good morning, manatees. It's Thursday, May 21st, 2020, and I have Abby DeSantis with the Pledge of Allegiance and the Bayhaven Pledge. Here goes Abby. I'm starting with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Bayhaven Pledge. I promise to be respectful, responsible, and safe. Have a great day, manatees. Bye. Don't forget, next week, Wednesday, the 27th at 10 a.m., we have our big fifth grade graduation um, through Carline. And then the following day, Thursday, May 28th at 10 a.m., we get to have our kindergarten graduation go through Carline. So it'll be nice seeing many of you next week as well. Today, let's take some time to check out this celebration video from Miss Downey. Enjoy. Good morning, manatees. I wanted to come to give some shout outs to all of you who have been working so hard at home during remote learning. Everyone, students, parents, teachers, had a big challenge to adjust to learning at home. I know many of you have been enjoying your specials lessons and music lessons whenever you can at home. The following people have gone above and beyond reaching out to me via email, Facebook, um, taking lessons, coming to Zooms, and I just wanted to give a special thanks to those who have been very involved. I have so many people to thank. I know I won't get to everyone, but every single one of you should be so proud of your work, whether you sent it to me or kept it to yourself. First off, here's some students who were awesome at sending me emails. In kindergarten, we had work turned in from Jasmine A and Lily K. In first grade, I got a nice email from Bromwyn. In second grade, I heard from many students, including Nathaniel, Angel, Mason E, Lily T, Sydney P, Penny, and Jackson S. In third grade, I got some awesome videos and messages from Alfredo, L, Vivian, and Star. In fourth grade, I heard a lot from Kiana, Gia, and Layla. Special shout out to Mr. Sarazen's class. These students emailed me almost every week to tell me that their music lessons were done. This is Nikki, Edward, Sydney, Jesse, Jenny, Victor, Rylan, and Jude. Awesome job, Mr. Sarazen's class. In fifth grade, I heard some practicing was happening from Olivia J. Awesome job. And I also got some submissions from siblings, including Sophie and Piper, Antonio and Joaquin, and Dylan and Logan. Thank you so much for sharing over email. Next, I have a few kids who did an awesome job participating in music by taking a private lesson or reaching out to me one-on-one -on -one to talk about music. This is Ashton in first grade, Pepper in third grade, and Rayana and Elise in fifth grade. It was so nice hearing from you and making music together. Next up, we have some shining stars from the Manatee Musical Moments Facebook group. This is Zachary, Willow, Conrad, and Scarlett who shared some music from kindergarten. In second grade, Mason E, Jackson S, and Sydney P. In third grade, Balthazar shared his awesome cup song. In fourth grade, Horatio shared some piano playing and Naya shared many singing videos. In fifth grade, we had some dance from Logan C. We had so many students attend our special Zoom meetings every week and I wanted to do a special shout out to some kids who I saw over and over. They were very loyal Zoom attendees. This is Mike and Alyssa, Allison and Avery, Kira and Kiana. In first grade, Quinn and Ashton. In second grade, Allie J, Brody G, Bailey G, Irva, Micah P and Alex S who sang some solos on Zoom and Bailey L in third grade. Last up, I have a special shout out to my chorus members who were so loyal coming to Zoom. These people came to every single chorus Zoom, Kira, Fiona, 
and Eliana. Thanks for coming every time. And then I have some who came to almost every course Zoom. That's Nesta, Addie, Mike, Daniel, Ashlyn, and Isabel. Thank you everybody for coming to our music events and sharing your music and making this time special. I hope everyone has a great summer and continues to make music at home. Remember that you can keep singing whenever you want at home, sing your favorite songs, dance along, play whatever instruments or found objects that you can find at home, and I can't wait to see you again. I'm here if you need me, just send me an email and I can help with any music things you need. Bye! Don't forget to stay tuned for the talent show video coming soon. All right, thank you, Miss Downey. And now we'll move on to today's weather with Pepper. For today, Thursday, May 21st, expect a hot day with a high temperature of 89 degrees and a low temperature of 70 degrees with a 10% chance of thunderstorms. Get outside and have some fun today. Book of the Day with Lady in Copper. Today's Book of the Day is The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. It was written over 50 years ago and is still a bestseller and a favorite of teachers, parents, and grandparents. It has a great message about unselfishness and generosity. I think it's a great book for classrooms to read together, possibly in a restorative circle. Even though The Giving Tree is a simple book with just a few words and colorful drawings, it communicates many nuggets of wisdom about how children, parents, and grandparents support each other all throughout life. The author, Shel Silverstein, has left much of the book open to interpretation, so you and your parents get to decide what you can learn from the story and what it means to you. It's a classic and I hope you can read it again and again with your family and classroom. Enjoy The Giving Tree. It can be found online and in all Sarasota County libraries. Question of the day with Peyton's horse, Bobby Socks. We had tons and tons of answers come in for my question of the day, which was, how many kindergarten teachers do we have at Bayhaven? And can you name them all? I know this was a very, very tough question. Well, here's the answer. We have six kindergarten teachers. Can you name them? Miss Begala, Miss Fox, Miss Wilson, Miss Barnett, Miss Nowoski, and Miss Nasby. I wonder who was the first correct responder to today's questions? Can you believe that a kindergartner had the right answer first? Congratulations to Alyssa Tolstova. Alyssa is a kindergarten student and she got the answer right. Way to go. Alyssa will receive a $10 gift card in the mail. Way to go, Alyssa. Today's other super fast responders included Raquel Vieira, Conrad Nixon, Spencer and Charlotte Chapdelaine, Maddie and Mason Benty, Deegan Shoren, Gavin Lewis, Aspen Snyder, Zach Prager, and Eris Galati. Keep the answers coming. Okay, manatees, now on to today's question of the day. What does the word Florida mean in Spanish? Again, what does the word Florida mean in Spanish? Good luck, everyone. Text those answers to me, Mr. Erickson, for your chance to win a $10 gift card. <laughs> manatees now it's time for miss blake with her glad challenge and her mindful minute good morning manatees this is it 
today is the final day to be entered into the GLAD Challenge for this school year. We're continuing to reflect back on our entire school year and thinking about the things that we have to celebrate. Today is Thursday, which means that we are focusing on our favorite things, the things we loved, the things that made us happy but also the things that we did that brought joy and happiness to other people. So since today is the last day to be entered into our challenge, if you can complete one of these GLAD Challenge worksheets with information from the whole school year, which means think back to the very beginning up until now of everything that's happened and fill this box with all of the things from this school year that you are grateful for that you appreciate. Fill this box with as many things you can, as you can think of, of things that you learned this school year. Fill this one with all of the things that you have achieved, all of the goals you've reached, especially things that you didn't think you would be able to do. And then fill this box with your favorite things about this school year. What did you love about this school year? If you submit a completed GLAD Challenge worksheet to me today about your entire school year this year, I will enter you into the GLAD Challenge three times today. I can't wait to hear about all of the joy and happiness you discover and celebrate today. And tomorrow I'll be back to announce our final GLAD Challenge winner for this school year who will have a pizza delivered to their house. Now it's time for our mindful. For today's Mindful Minute, I'm going to read to you a book that will teach us some yoga moves we can use to connect these calming breaths we've been practicing together with the ways our bodies move. Doing yoga moves like this, especially in the morning, is a great way to get our minds and bodies ready and focused for whatever it is we need to do. I hope that you look at this video throughout the summer and practice it as much as you can. And any time that you need to focus your mind and body to do something, you can use these yoga moves together. While I'm reading the book, listen to my words and look at the pictures of the characters on the pages and practice the moves along with me. But most importantly, throughout the whole book, Listen to and focus on your breathing in and out your nose. Let your breaths guide your movements, which means as you breathe in, do one movement, and as you breathe out, do the next. Breathe in and out gently and relaxed throughout the whole book. It is called Good Morning Yoga by Miriam Gates. My first breath in is long and deep. I twist and turn to shake off sleep. Today I'm a fiery volcano reaching high. A brave ski jumper ready to fly. A lightning bolt flashing across the sky. Today I'm also a mountain, quiet and still. A gentle stream flowing downhill. A playful dog stretching with skill. Today I'm an explorer, calm and awake crossing bridges on the path I take, sailing boats on the journey I make. Calm and awake, I can do this is all I need to say. A deep breath in, a long breath out, I am ready for the day. Okay, manatees, have a terrific Thursday, and I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye-bye.